Hello, my name is Cars82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Just making sure our Krypton is working. I just logged in to the world, so I wanted to make sure it turned on uh, when I logged on, and I didn't have to, like, go visit the thing. You never know. But, uh, yeah, so last episode we got the the planetary gas siphon. Now, eventually, I probably will have it beam pump xenon, but uh, I can't get there yet. We need a tier six rocket. So that is kind of like the next one we are going to have to do. Um, I have recipes for all this stuff, but we do need tritanium for the the ingots. Now this compressed lead and oro stuff, that's not an issue at all. I realize you got two from that actually. I thought that was a one-to-one, -one. so that actually makes it a bit cheaper than I realized. But uh, we do need tritanium. Now, uh, I th think uh, we do need a Mark II. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was Mark I or... Oh, we need duranium, that's right. Yeah, molten duranium with tritanium. No, molten duranium plus titanium equals tritanium. That's right. I do remember that. And molten duranium also needs a fusion reactor. Uh, but that is a Mark I. Um, and lots of radon, which is kind of a pain to get. Uh, so it looks like it's two and three. Like two parts duranium, three parts titanium gets one part Tritanium. So if we need, I don't know, I'm gonna have to do. Actually, there probably, it probably does say how many we need. I'm just curious how many ingots we need with that. I may. Only 104 bolts, actually. That is. We only need 13. Which does kind of make sense, because as I'm looking at this, this is all Tier 5 plates. Like, none of this stuff requires Tier 6 stuff. So, probably this needs a plate. Yep, there's a 13. So, there's 12 there, and then that needs 1. And then all this stuff we actually all have. This war. But we are going to have to upgrade our reactor. So, if I need... 104, what is that? 10. Uh, thir what is that? 10, 12, thir like 13. I guess it's one. Wait, is it one per? Oh, it's, it's one ingot per plate. Duh. All right, so I need 13 ingots. So we need 26 ingots of geranium. That's kind of what I was going for. I'll probably do like enough for 32 or something like that and then i may just do a replicator recipe for it if i need a couple more in the future it does use an entire bucket i really need to speed up my uu matter just for stuff like this like tritanium we don't use a whole ton of so it's nice to have that if i want to just knock out a couple couple ingots as needed but uh okay i guess i uh that's not as difficult i mean okay so you need a tier six a tier two reactor which i mean that's pretty complicated <laughs> uh yeah zpm dense europium uv okay well that's not okay ppic wafers actually these oh that's a lot <laughs> that is a lot of indium gallium yeah, so, all right, 48, that's 48 stacks of Indian Gallium. Yeah, okay, that's, I don't remember it being, I don't remember it needing that much. Maybe it did, but uh, these are easy to get. But, uh, all right, so that is something I'm going to need to work on. Yeah, can't get that yet. So, Tier 6 is out, but what I think I'm actually going to do, um, one, uh, I want this molecular... Uh, I want the molecular transformer. 
But part of the issue is I'm going to need a couple more resources. One is Ruby, for sure. For all those Lapitrons, let's realize why. Why does it need 32? If I screwed up the recipe somewhere, it should only need 16, right? Hold on. Did I screw up the recipe? I might have. That feels like it needs too many. Did I? Oh, I may have actually. Did I double a recipe? Hold on. Yeah, that. I've like doubled that. Or well, part of it. I mean, it does need a lot of circuits. What is that? L That's LUV, right? Yeah. All right. So let's do, let me remake this. I don't know how I did that. I wonder if I hit like one of the, the things. So 16, 32 IV, and then 64. No! Oh, I just did that. <laughs> Wait. No. What did I do? 32 Bristol. That one. Ivy. And then that is Quantum. All right. Is that correct? I wish they put in the, what I, the ones that I use. I think that's correct. All right. Let's, let's try that again. All right, that's better. Yeah, I was like, that seemed to be needing way more Lapitronics than we do. But as we can see, I am short on Ruby. Now, um, I can go throw down a miner for, say, Ruby Ore. There's a couple ways to do this if we want. I can even do on Tier 5 planets. Uh, that is a whole lot of redstone, and Ruby Ore is kind of like an afterthought. Uh, what we could do instead, and I think I'm going to do this because I just love Void Miners. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Void Miners uh, in mod packs. Uh, are they cheaty? Sure, whatever. I still like them. So I think I'm actually going to work towards this. I think this is going to be my next big one. And then I will use the void miner to get the resources for the molecular transformer kind of thing and the resources that we're going to need for the next fusion reactor so i have a couple projects here uh, i want to do now i probably need to make a thing like this is really easy to craft up Outside of the controller block, all this stuff is like super, super easy at this point. Data access hatch. What is that for? I don't know. That just might be a. <laughs> that might be just a, uh, a mistake on that. I'm like, I don't think we need a data access. That's the thing for the. Isn't that that's for? Oh, maybe you do need it. I don't know. Yeah, it just says input bus. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to work on this. It, now, this is going to take some time. Again, we are short on a couple things. Niobium, I knew that was going to be an issue. We were running low on that. These, I just don't keep enough in stock. I really need to do something with that. Basically, you just have to do that and... Uh, we get more. What was the other one? I don't remember. Probably sulfide plates, maybe. It was one of those. Um, the It's the nine fuel generators that are a bit of an issue. So I may just craft up... Uh, yeah, that niobium. And the raw crystal chips. 
So I'm probably going to just do these in, you know, like two at a time or something like that. That's easy. But, uh, all right. So it looks like niobium and niobium is basically the issue. Now, yeah, I think we got our most of our supply from... I don't remember how we got it. Did we get it from Rare Earth, possibly? We might have got it from, like, Rare Earth. But I could be... Am I confusing that? I might be confusing that with Yttrium. I think Yttrium is what we got from Rare Earth. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. All right, so I'm going to have to get Niobium. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just... We'll come back when I get this crafted up. Now we are pumping Krypton. So I could actually use this to supply even two liters per second. Uh, Krypton, that gives us times eight. So that's really cool. And then we can see the Xenon is even better, which eventually I want to pump. And then obviously Oganesson is the absolute best. But, uh, all right, so let me work on this, and uh, I guess we'll come back. Okay, I am back, and it's actually been a few days later in real life because of the holidays. Uh, so uh, I am trying to remember what I was doing, and I think we were getting the Void Miner going. And uh, I came up to a point that uh, I hadn't noticed... <laughs> and uh when i went to i was getting all the recipes for the void miner and then i found out since i had never actually crafted this one yet uh we're gonna need tritanium for the i think it's the tier four miner yes so the ore drilling plant tier four actually needs tritanium i've never I've never crafted that up. I've only, I really only use the, the smaller ones, the tier, I've only been using the tier two because I don't really need, usually when I drop the miner, it's on a specific vein. So I don't need a massive uh, ore drilling plant. Although this does give, oh, does it give the same? Oh, it gives the same uh, crushed. Yeah, it does give a fortune bonus to small ores, but it doesn't give a bonus to, yeah, the the regular processing. Um, so yeah, I've never actually crafted that up. I didn't realize the that one needed a tritanium. I do believe that is. I think this one is one of these is like a new. There used to be three tiers. Now there's four, but. Uh, yeah, so we need Tritanium, which means uh, I am kind of at the point where I just, I do need a Tier 2 Fusion. I need it for our Tier 6 Rocket. I need it for the Void Miner. I don't need it for the Molecular Transformer thing, but uh, I think getting the Void Miner will help with all the stuff, all the resources that we're going to need for that. Uh in the meantime, though, I think I am going to... I think I am going to just start crafting up the... Yeah, the Tier 2 Fusion. I can do everything. Uh, it's just going to take a few... A uh, little bit of work. Now, I do need... I haven't got the this one, the mainframe circuit assembly line built, so I am going to have to do that one. Bit annoying, we're going to have to craft up a very expensive one and then use it to craft these up. Uh, I don't think I have... Did I have I done that one? Like I said, it's been a few real life days, so I'm trying to remember... All right, so I do have... I couldn't remember if I had I had done that one. Um, I have crafted up the... 
next, well, not the next one. I did a uh, for the quantum processors, so the circuit assembly line. I've crafted that one up, and this one I was trying to decide which which thing I should do, and I ended up deciding I wanted to do this recipe. There's less resources. They're a bit more advanced resources, but uh, they're less resources. But this needs ZPM. And uh, I did find out, and I don't know if this has changed. I could have sworn I remember putting two hatches uh, in it before, but it won't form with two LUV hatches. Um, I did try, and it wouldn't form. So I've actually put a ZPM energy hatch here. And we're transforming up. I, this isn't ideal, but uh, I may redesign the the way I have the power coming in. Um, I may have ZPM come down like the main line, and then maybe have like a. LUV line maybe running next to it. I'm not with a transformer. Instead of having the transformer down here, I would have it like here and branch off. I don't know. Um, but for the meantime, I have done this. Um, and I also threw a battery buffer since the Sonarium is relatively easy to get at the moment. Um, I just don't want... Uh, this running out of power and then losing all the the items because that is very expensive. I don't want to like lose 16 circuit boards and 16 of those and I mean that is a ton. That's 64. That's four stacks of platinum wires. I don't want to lose that. So uh, I threw a buffer, a battery buffer, so we don't have that problem. So yeah, I've gone ahead and done that. And the reason I did that is because... Because uh, as I started looking at the recipes that we're going to need for the fusion reactor, one is we need fusion coil blocks. So I'm going to need 64 of these. Well, actually, we need 66 because we need a fusion coil block for the, the controller. I kind of feel like this Mark II controller should be a Mark One, eh? Maybe not. That would probably make that more expensive. But uh, yeah, so I need thirty-two of these for the coils plus one, and then times two. So sixty-six, and uh, this requires, as we can see, a rather large amount of quantum circuits. Two hundred fifty-six quantum circuits. So I wanted to get the easier, easier ones. Now, unfortunately, I don't know. There is something weird with this recipe. It's popping up with those batteries again when I tried to do it, and I don't remember. Um, don't remember what it was, but uh, yeah, when I did the iridium things, it for some reason it was popping up saying I need to craft up batteries and. I don't remember what that... I had that issue before with the recipe, and I don't remember what it was. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to work on getting the next... The mainframe. Is this... Okay, this is LUV power. I mean, I can do all this. This is totally doable. But I need to craft one up this way and then uh, do the whole slicing thing. And really quick, I just remembered what the problem was. The Scenarium batteries are... or dictionary with the LUV circuits. So you have to turn off the or dictionary thing. I usually leave that on uh, for circuits and the, the tools and stuff. Uh, otherwise, the tools... If there's a recipe with a tool in it, it will have an issue if you don't have War Dictionary on. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, those Planarium batteries 
our Ordic train. You can see the LUV. So that was that was the problem. I I couldn't remember what it was, and it just all of a sudden I was like, oh, that's right, there was a or dictionary problem. So uh, if I have that problem again, that's what it was. And really quick, I am on Titan. I don't think we have actually been here. It is a moon of Saturn, and uh, those those lakes. Uh, actually destroy items like lava so uh, just to be careful but uh, i've gone ahead and i've gotten rid of the the dragon egg thing because that was limited to ev and i wanted to speed this up so um i've gone ahead and done the same thing i did with the the pump on uranus the space station i've done a quantum ring connected it with a regtech eu and then we're going to pump out a ZPM. Um, and I've done a ZPM energy hatch on this thing because I need lots of graphite for the uh, the, uh, the fusion reactor. We're going to need lots of circuits and graphene. And uh, yeah, so I need like thousands of graphite. So I wanted to speed that up, get this as fast as possible. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with our drilling fluid. Because that is only... I've never really upgraded that. It's So, I uh, guess we're going to go ahead and see. We'll turn that on. And as we can see, it is... As opposed to every two seconds, it's doing every six ticks. So, there we go. Uh, hopefully... Yeah, it looks like it's going to keep up with it fine. Uh, we are getting titanium, though it hasn't... It hasn't got down to... Oh, no. I was a bit worried about that. Is that... Oh, no. There it goes. I thought for a second. I didn't see this. Oh. Yeah, it says it's missing channel. Uh, is that going to be an issue again? Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll leave it. And then... Uh... Oh, hello. Yep. We can see how... <laughs> We can see how fast we're getting it. Oh, it's turning off because of the... Duh. I have the... The switch. That if this fills up, it turns off. Duh. So the thing at the base isn't clearing this out fast enough. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to go... Deal with that. But yeah, look how fast we're getting resources. I can't wait to get the Void Miner, though. Yep. I think it's, I have it set to like 32. That is funny. And quick update. I am crafting up our fuel generators, or at least <laughs> attempting to. I think we got everything. And uh, yeah, we are. A circuit assembly line is working. Now I have the... Um, I've gotten the mainframe done, but I haven't actually done this yet it should work i don't see why it wouldn't should probably now that i'm talking about it get that hooked up didn't realize that wasn't hooked up that and uh it only uses the one amp of luv so we sh should be good double check i reconnect to this yeah because i replace these wires all right i will hook or i'll hit this just to use up the, the slicing thing all right i will keep an eye on that and we should be good but i might have done something basically the the longest part on that is one is the 16 by 16 superconductor LEV wires, but yeah, these crystal computers, just because they take so long, 240 seconds. And that's on top of 60 seconds and 180 seconds. So yeah, those just take forever. I have gone ahead and moved the miner again. And uh, I can confirm we absolutely cannot keep up 
the drilling fluid with uh, just a MV mixer, which, I mean, I've just been fully lazy at replacing this uh, since I wasn't... Uh, the EV one never... It, like, barely put a dent in that, but yeah, we are tearing through that. Uh, the reason I moved that is because I needed sphalerite. Oh, we are up to that. I threw it on a sulfur vein, and I'm just clearing out a huge... A max size thing, and I've gotten most of this stuff. There are a couple things on here, like... Monazite I don't want to mess with, and... Siderite, all that circle. I have no idea what that is for. Jasper, probably just uh, to avoid that. I just realized, yeah, that is actually running. I didn't even realize I was running. Because um, last I looked, we had like 2,000 Bonazite. I didn't realize that was actually running. Yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. I think the bottleneck over here is actually... Actually, this, I think. I don't really need this running, like, full steam, though. <laughs> okay, maybe that is not the bottleneck. Maybe that's the bottleneck, but... Uh... Anyway, so, yeah, I am just doing the field generator. So let's just double-check that is indeed working. All right, cool. Yep, yeah, 480 seconds. I mean, admittedly, you do get 16 mainframes out of it, so you do get, like, a ton. But, uh, yeah, it just takes a while. But I think we are... Other than that, I think we are good. I got the emitters crafted up. Um, I did craft up more europium in the... The, um... The reactor... I'm probably going to have to do a bit more as well. Uh, just because this europium sulfide stuff needs ZPM. And I was just didn't feel like trying to figure out how the heck am I going <laughs> to... I did this before and I set it back and I'm like, eh. I'm like, how am I going to redo this? I don't know. So I just uh, threw it through the reactor. But, uh, all right, so there we are. We are doing that. I think I got all my fusion coil stuff. I haven't actually crafted up the coils yet, but I got all the iridium neutron reflectors. I got all the field generators we're going to need. So I think we're good with that. We can see we are crafting up these as we speak because we are not going to need... All 16. We need eight, so that leaves us eight more for this recipe. So I got that, 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 these two. All right, so I do need to do these. I haven't started that yet. Um, going to need to do Molten Scenarium. All right, I may need to actually... ZPM. I think I. I think this is it. Is this that ZPM? Can't remember. This really should not be where it is. It actually is running at ZPM. I didn't realize that. All right, so that will actually work there. But I do need to set up molten scenarium. And. I may actually need to get more scenarium. Uh, I do think I the coral wasn't this a wasn't that like a ten percent chance recipe? Now it's like a hundred percent chance. Did that get buffed? I thought that was like a ten percent chance. Uh, but I don't have the glowing coral, so I should throw that in my my thing because I'm gonna need more of that. I'm I feel like that was oops. I want to say that was a percent chance, and when I did the update to 
227, I think I'm on. That's turned into a 100%. Could be wrong, though. Okay, I've got the field generators. And that, I do have one PPIC working. I just thought it would be <laughs> funny to show how fast we are crafting up aluminum ingots in our Vulcanist now every four ticks. Um, I realized I was out of this because I don't have the best way to do this. I guess I probably should do... Eh, well, let's just do this. Because um, I have to convert the whatever that stuff is to aluminum and then pulverize it for the aluminum dust that we need for the Indian production, which is not, not the best. I don't know. It doesn't feel great, but uh, I don't really, other than doing maybe like a crafting, crafting card or something like that. But yeah, we do have our first PPIC. I have... We're going to need a whole bunch of indium because it's 22 per PPIC. I may even start uh, replicating it to speed this up. Because we need 47 more of these. Yeah, almost 1,000 indium. Phosphorus. We actually are good on scenarium. Need 470 of that. And I've actually just made a recipe for scenarium in here so my autoclave so i just put the earth coral and the u and that takes 107 seconds to do five processes which is 10 at a time but yeah so we are looks like indium maybe our bottleneck i didn't actually realize after i'd gotten all this file right going that I totally forgot about the aluminum, so it wasn't it wasn't running. I actually crafted up eleven thousand aluminum ingots. I totally forgot about that. All right, so I guess we'll just keep doing this, and I guess oh, I guess I need ZPM hatches. Energy hatches for the thing, and then all the LUV or all the ZPM, like the output hatches, the input hatches, all have to be replaced with ZPM to upgrade it, which is a bit of a pain. But uh, yeah, these fusion machine casings are actually really easy as well. So basically, we are just going to break down the fusion reactor and upgrade it once I get everything done. Okay, I realized my sulfuric acid pump on IO had run out, so I decided to just craft it up here in my chemical area with all the sulfur dust we're getting. Sulfur and oxygen and water. Sulfuric acid. I don't think it is worth pumping it at this point. Um, yeah, because I have 436,000 sulfur, and I'm just getting more and more since I am sitting on top of a sulfur vein trying to get sphalerite. It does look like we're going to run out of Galena, so that is the next one I'm going to have to do. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, not going to get the fusion reactor crafted up to a day. You know, see all the sulfur coming in. Uh, just, it's just too complicated uh to get done in uh like one day real time of playing uh just lots of we're just like kind of pushing what we can craft at this point but uh yeah i have gone ahead and got some probably the most difficult stuff i have yet um but basically we are just waiting I think indium so i'm just gonna let the world run and uh we'll get our ppic wafers we'll get our fusion reactor 
Craft it up. What is the scanner, by the way? Block of Europium. Let me get that going. Let me get that going right now. Otherwise, I will. The the recipe might be like 40 second, uh, 40,000 seconds or something like that. Pretty sure this is my compressor, right? Yeah. Uh, so as we can see, I've actually done quite a few things. Um, I have upgraded our our compressors to a processing array with four IV in there. So I have been done little things here and there. Uh, just trying to improve everything. I really need to get rid of all these single block machines, but most of it is not. Ooh, I am out of data sticks as well. Most of it is not a back, uh, a bottleneck. So 1800 seconds. Yeah, so good that I got that going. All right, we'll come back next episode. We'll finish up the fusion reactor two. We will get our tritanium and we will get a void miner going. And then. We'll get a molecular transformer. So we got lots planned uh, in the meantime. But anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching it.